Lung cancer remains the leading cause of cancer-related deaths globally and is the second most common cancer in the United States. Often, lung cancer doesn't present symptoms until it has advanced, making early detection challenging. However, some individuals with early-stage lung cancer do experience symptoms. Identifying these signs early can lead to a timely diagnosis and more effective treatment. Here's a comprehensive look at the warning signs of lung cancer. Number 1. Persistent cough. A new or persistent cough is a significant warning sign, particularly for smokers. While a cough from a cold or infection usually resolves within a week, a cough that lingers for more than eight weeks should raise concern. Pay attention to the nature of the cough. If it sounds deeper or hoarser than usual or if you are coughing up more mucus, it's crucial to consult a doctor. Number two, coughing up blood. Coughing up blood or bloody mucus, even in small amounts, can be an alarming symptom. This might indicate the presence of lung cancer. It's essential to seek medical advice promptly if you notice any blood in your sputum. Number three, frequent respiratory infections. Lung tumors can block airways, leading to recurrent infections such as bronchitis and pneumonia. If you find yourself frequently battling respiratory infections, it might be a sign of lung cancer, warranting a discussion with your healthcare provider. Number four, wheezing and shortness of breath. Wheezing and shortness of breath can occur when a lung tumor blocks or narrows an airway or if fluid accumulates in the chest due to the tumor. These symptoms can also result from less serious conditions like asthma or allergies, but new or worsening breathing difficulties should be evaluated by a doctor. Number five, voice changes. Hoarseness or changes in your voice can occur if a tumor impacts the nerve controlling the larynx. While a simple cold can cause temporary hoarseness, persistent voice changes should not be ignored and should be assessed by a healthcare professional. Number six, unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss is another critical warning sign. Cancer can cause weight loss by consuming the body's energy and altering metabolism. Losing more than 10 pounds without any significant lifestyle changes or reasons should prompt a medical evaluation. Number seven, chest pain. Lung cancer may cause pain in the chest, shoulders, or back, especially during deep breathing, coughing, or laughing. This discomfort may stem from the cancer spreading to the chest wall, pleura, lining around the lungs, or ribs. If you experience persistent chest pain, it's important to consult a doctor. Number eight, bone pain. Bone pain, particularly at night and worsening with movement, can indicate that lung cancer has spread to the bones. This type of pain is often severe and persistent, and it should be promptly investigated. Number nine, persistent fatigue. Chronic tiredness or fatigue that doesn't improve with rest can be a symptom of lung cancer. This can result from the body's effort to fight the cancer, the cancer itself, or side effects of treatment. Number 10, loss of appetite. A decreased interest in eating or unexplained weight loss can be a sign of lung cancer. This can happen because cancer cells use up a lot of the body's energy and can alter metabolism. Number 11, swelling in the neck and face. Lung cancer can cause swelling in the neck and face known as superior vena cava syndrome. This occurs when a tumor presses against the superior vena cava, a large vein that returns blood from the head and arms to the heart. Number 12, Neurological symptoms. Lung cancer can metastasize to the brain, leading to neurological symptoms such as headaches, seizures, dizziness, balance issues, or numbness and weakness in the limbs. Number 13, jaundice. If lung cancer spreads to the liver, it can cause jaundice, which is characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes. This is due to a buildup of bilirubin, a substance produced by the liver. Risk factors. The primary risk factor for lung cancer is smoking, which significantly increases the risk of developing the disease. However, lung cancer can also occur in non-smokers. The risk increases with the length of time and number of cigarettes smoked. Quitting smoking, even after many years, can reduce the risk of lung cancer. Conclusion. Recognizing the warning signs of lung cancer can lead to early detection and more effective treatment. If you notice any of these symptoms, Especially if you are a smoker or have other risk factors for lung cancer, consult a healthcare provider promptly. Early intervention can make a significant difference in outcomes. For more health tips and information, don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.